put the crevice of the bone on the floor. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing on today? I hope by the time this periscope reaches you, you all are blessed and all are in positive spirits. My name is Jazzy Jujubi. I am a multifunctional contemporary everyday mompreneur. I'm the CEO and founder of Jashe. Oh, shucks, I didn't mean to do that. Jashe Essentials. Dot com, where I create and make all natural hair and body products. I am a licensed cosmetologist and also a licensed educator, and I am also a lifestyle scoper here on Periscope. And what we talk about here and what we do is being authentically you. Good morning, sis. Good morning, sis. Good morning. I am doing wonderful, Marie. I'm doing great. I have been working, and um, I didn't come on late last night because um, once I got home, I got more orders that popped up. And even though I see here tell you, like, I'm not shipping out no more orders, it's kind of hard for me. Marie knows how I am. It's kind of hard for me to do that all because, Can you put the um, over here so I can <laughs> yes, I do. You see my little man right here, my best friend. My best friend is right here, and he has my back, and this is my soldier right here. So, you know, he's right by, beside his mommy, helping mommy work. So we're filling up um, bottles um, right now. So I fill, and he basically um helps me move the process much much faster so um um so like i said last night i was um working on orders and then i was on the phone with inez and marie and i just started making more sugar scrub and then we realized realized last night that wow um i don't think i'm going to be able to take as much sugar scrubs to peri union because I literally almost sold out of sugar scrubs and didn't even check my inventory because the last time I checked, I had over 2,000 um, 2, um, jars, my empty jars of, of from for the, my containers. My I had like over 2,000 containers of sugar scrub jars, and I went in my shed and I went in my um, in my um, in my glam room and looking for more jars and I couldn't find any. And I literally almost had a little panic attack because I couldn't find it. And then realized, I said, you sold that much that fast. And I didn't even realize it. So um, so I won't have them. But I'm just going to just, I don't, I want to order them. But I don't want to order them because um, I don't want my packages sitting on my porch. You know, and I'm not here. So, oh, which I'm going to be here because where am I going to be here? I didn't even think about that. Um, so um, I've been working my behind off. And I came on and I started checking out all my friends this morning. I came on to support everybody this morning. Um, even though I was working, I wanted to come on and support. Oh, and that's a lot of brown down. Yeah, I know. We have a lot left. But Ooh, that one fell on the floor, too. We want to fill all these up. So that Mark, I can you do these things. while I put the labels on them? Do what? What do you want me to do? You can, like, put the tops on them and that. No, you can, we can worry about that last. This is what we're going to do first. We'll worry about that last. Okay? okay. So... That needs a top on it. We'll worry about that. Labels, we'll worry about all that last. But that's the, that's the icing on the cake. But we're going to worry about this last. And then we're just going to make sure we fill everything first. So, um, so how's everybody doing on this morning? What's everybody's plans for this morning? If there's anyone who is looking to place an order this morning, I would suggest that you do that. And then I can print out and then you can get to, what's today, Saturday? So you probably won't get your order till Tuesday. Um, of this week but um I just want to make sure I have enough product made for the next couple of weeks so I can kind of like work on my YouTube videos so what I like to do is I like to make sure I re-up and make sure I have enough products in stock and then I can you know take a two-week break just to concentrate on my YouTube channel so um, I have been doing a lot better with work, you know, putting myself on a schedule of knowing, okay, well, for the next two weeks, I just work on product making, making all my products. Next two weeks, I solely worry about editing videos, not uploading the videos, but just editing the videos. So as I want to release them, I can just open them up. It'll be automatically uploaded and then I just open them up and I'm, hey guys, I got new videos up. So right now I'm just working on a plan of making sure that I get everything in order so that when I say, hey, I'm going to take me a little break, I can take a break and I have to be worrying about trying to edit videos, um, trying to um, spend time with my children, I can spend time with them 
and make sure all my work is 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 done right in an orderly fashion so it's just all about um organizing your time don't um good morning happy Saturday to you and your son i'm annie from nc it's great to to business keeping me busy thank you sis how are you yes business is, is keeping me very busy and um for the past um hi kita good morning sister for the past couple of um i can even say that we're always busy it's just that i always have products on stock that's really what it is and i've been um I've been selling out. So since I've been selling out now, I'm like, I, it's, 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 it's around that time. It's just around that time for me to work and re up and make more products. So, um, in a two weeks time, I like to at least make, have, I make sure I have at least 5,000 products on stock so that it can carry me for hopefully two to three, you know, two to three months. And then, Oh, 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 so I don't have to worry about it. Jesus. Just wipe that on your head to two. Just wipe that on your head. We waste nothing. We waste nothing, boo. Yeah, so I have enough product in stock so I can, you know, work and do other things. So while I'm here, that's what I'm going to do. Good morning, sister. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my love. How's everybody feeling, guys? Thank you for the hearts. So uh, I want to get outside today. I got to go buy my kids Easter um, outfits. Um, for Easter, they're not gonna be with me. So, um, good morning, sis. How are you? And oh, it smells so good. Mm. Same here, doesn't it? So, um, guys, so I will tell you that when I make my fishes and Josiah is the test, honey, <laughs> because when I'm, I mean, I already know it's fine, but I apply it on him, and like I said, he has this product was solely made for Josiah due to the fact that he has sensitive skin especially on his face. So I need to create a product that was just for his face. The Juche oil is too strong for his face. So I had to create another product that was going to be just for his face to help the eczema on his face. And not only that, around his eyes, he get like the dark circles around his eyes. And it's like when he gets really itchy and dry patches. So um, it keeps his skin very moisturized. And if he's having like a rash or like a breakout or anything on his face, this product is um, sensitive enough for the, the most sensitive of skin. So that's why this product was created. And not only that, um, it helps with acne. It helps with controlling acne. So if you have a pimple and you apply my facial serum on it, within two days, that pimple will dissipate. Within two days, okay? Within two days, literally. Um, so, and that's why I said it's, it's, it's important that you exfoliate to help to remove layers of layers of dead skin to bring forth the renewed skin. So that's why it's really, it, it, it's very important that you exfoliate your skin. You are, set, you are, sh are shedding um, dead skin cells all over your mattress, all over your pillow. You're going outside and all those toxins are seeping into your skin and they're just sitting on top of your skin. And some of the times like they're penetrating into your skin. So it is important that you exfoliate. So if you have not purchased my exfoliant sugar scrub, and I'm not going to lie, I'm really not trying to um, promote my sugar scrub as much right now only because I want to have enough to sell at Perry Union because I want... Um, um, potential customers there, people who haven't met me to try my product, you know, on hand. And the fact that I don't have, I have some jars, but I'm afraid to put them in the jars that I have. And I don't have, um, matter of fact, I can put labels on them. I just have to test it out today because I have like little four ounce um, jars. Did my, oh, my thing popped off. How did that happen? I gotta go get my, my design redone. Oh, that just made me mad. Um, I know how fun I am with my nails. I love getting my nails done. But I'm going to put nail polish on my other nails. But I'm going to get my redesign done over. Look, my little diamond came off at the bottom. Oh, that made me mad. See how it looks? I know. But it's it's all good. It's 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 all good. It is all good. So, um, to, I'm just trying to work this early morning. My mailman's going to come. Good morning, Denny. I know, right? Um, my a mailman is going to come and then he can pick up the package. That's why I'm saying if just in case if y'all just I can go and print out the shipping label and then I have products on hand now that I'm making so I can fill last minute orders and then still at the same time go, you know, hang out with my kids and, you know, take them shopping and stuff because I need to get them church on attire um, for, for Easter. So for Easter Sunday, I want to get them something really, really nice. I want to do, I hate that God, 
good. You got time to get exactly right. That really ticks me off. But you know, when I go see Chrissy, Chrissy be so swamp. Sometimes it takes forever just to um to get my nails done by her. And and I'm very I'm very impatient. I'm very impatient. So um, but I'll be trying. But nah, I'll be patient for my nail though, because my nails have to be on fleet. I gotta I'm thinking I'm like, would I take this? Nah, nah. My nails need to be all the way on fleet. You said, what am I doing? Filling up bottles. My Jache oil vials. Um, so basically, I have enough where if I'm going to salons or I'm going to barbershops and I go in and I go and sell them. And not only that, remember, um, this is, I'm going to show you the package. Let me show you the package that goes with this. When you purchase, um, I have a travel size. Good morning, good morning, good morning. When you buy the eight ounce sugar scrub, you get the travel size Jache facial serum that goes with it, okay? This package is $35 on my website. So if you buy these together, that's what comes together with that. And then I have that because I'm gonna be one doing giveaways and then I'm going to be, uh, I'm one of the sponsors um, for Perry Union also. So I wanna have as much product made up and it's gonna go in the gift bags and things like that. So like I'm making, um, so before I, you know, when I come home, when I come home today, it's for me to chill and relax, watch some TV and pack my stuff. Cause I want to get my packing done by tonight. Um, probably go, um, shopping a little bit, probably find me some new dresses and get me some new shoes or something. Um, but I just haven't decided where I'm going to go yet. And the weather is not nice to me at all. Like I stepped outside this morning. Good morning, Annie. And I was like, it's, it's cold outside. Josiah, why does my son disappear on me? Where you at, Tutu? Bye. See why my son trying to play with me? So he tries to go upstairs. He can go play on his game because he sees I'm talking to y'all. You see that? Nah, uh-uh. He thought he was slick. Nah, mm-mm. Uh -uh. Cause the faster, yeah, it's cold. The faster I get my work done, the faster I get to go outside, and that's the goal. The goal is to get outside so I can knock out as much stuff as I can. Oh, it is? See? Look. It's cold down where? It's cold down where? So another thing, too, is like, I'm like, I need to know how I need to pack for um for Las Vegas. Really? Oh, see? And I'm not about that. Um. Hey, and everybody, today's Saturday. So as soon as y'all get y'all packages, don't worry, because I'm going to be on today. As soon as y'all get y'all packages, please let me know. Hit me up. I have to de um, detail my truck. Not looking. Since I got I to gotta detail my truck, too. I got to detail my truck, too. I haven't washed my truck in months. I have not washed my truck in months. Look, I don't care. It'll be all right. When the weather's nice, I'm, I like to detail. I I know, sister, but I like to detail. You trying to flat leave me, Tutu? No. Nope. Aren't we working right now? Um, I like to detail. Stop trying to be extra this morning, okay? I'm trying to make sure that... Where's the... Oh. I try to make sure that I get my vehicle in order. When it's nice outside, then, then. Tamika says good morning, Tutu. Hello. Miss Tamika says good morning. Good morning. Don't put them over there because these are half are already closed. So, here. here. Let's just pull them out. Here you get a paper towel. No, don't put no paper towel. Just pay attention to what you're doing. You're knocking everything over. Pay attention to what you're doing. You better ju you better go take off your pajamas and go put something else so you can juice up your legs with that facial serum. Because <coughs> ain't nothing going to waste. Go take off your pajamas, please. Ain't nothing going to waste. Believe you that. Honey, he will juice up. Him and Julian, even Miko will juice up. I will let nothing go to waste. This stuff is a lot of money. Shoot, lucky I can't put it on my hair right now because if I had some braids in, I would juice my, my scalp up with it. So, um, this batch of, um, yeah, like this stuff costs a lot of money, man. Uh-uh. Sometimes I be you cringing. I'm like, Jesus. And when I see something spill, child, I'm about to lose my mind. I'm about to lose my mind when products spill. 
I waste nothing. He will he he will definitely juice up. Believe it. So let me get that popped in. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, sisters. Good morning. So, yeah, as I was saying, we we're talking about the vehicle, right? So I said, you know, once the weather gets really, really, when I start to notice that the weather is really, really nice, then I can go outside. Good morning, sis, but your products are amazing, so you get that back. I, 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 sis, I sure do. I ain't going to even lie about that. I sure do. Like, I had my facial serum on sale for what? How long did I have my facial serum? I had my facial serum on sale for literally one month. The regular price is $35, and I brought it down to $21, and I had it on sale for one month. And I'm like, this morning, I took it off. You know, it was on. Today made a month. Today made it a whole month. And even though I was saying, oh, it's only going to be, yes, www.jashaycentrals.com. I said it was going to only be, it was, I said it was only going to be for a few days. I put it on. Why would you wear those nice shorts down here? I'm still talking to you and you acting like you're not hearing me right now. I just asked you, why would you wear those good shorts down here? Knowing that you're about to juice your, your, your skin up. So, so what was I was saying just now? Let me juice up my legs too. Um, yeah, I had put my products on for a month. So today made it, today made it a month. So um, I took it off sale and, um, the, oh yeah, we we're talking about the truck, right? Yeah. So I was saying, but once the weather gets really, really nice, I'm going to go outside. You know, I even have good morning, sis. I'm going to go outside and I did it on a YouTube video when I was doing live videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, and, um, I put, uh, I was showing guys how I was detailing my truck and stuff, right? And I, love, I get comforted doing that because to me, when I go to the um, to, to the places, the car washes for them to wash my vehicle, I don't think that they do a great enough job. And I feel like I can do a better job. But what I will do is um, I will go to them for them to clear. You remember that video, sis? I will go to them to clean the outside. I'm not worried about the outside because if, if, I'm, if I'm not lazy enough, I would do the outside. But nah, you ain't about that life no more, honey. I ain't got time for that. So what I will do is... I will detail the inside of my truck, right? After I detail it, vacuum it out, brush everything out. And then I will take my mats out and then I will shampoo it. I'll take my shampooer outside and I will shampoo my truck. I, yes. I, I have no problem. I will shampoo it. After I shampoo it, I get inside all smelling all good because I don't know where they put their rags or where they store their rags or what they're using to clean the inside of your vehicles with their rags. I don't trust them, okay? I don't trust that. Because I had one bad experience where I had paid, I think I had paid like $35 to get my vehicle clean when my open my vehicle door. The inside of my vehicle smelled so nasty. And I went bonkers, you hear me? I went bonkers. And I made them pay me my money back. And I said, negative, I want my money back. My vehicle is disgusting. It smelled horrible. Here, Tutu, put the labels on. No, matter of fact, juice your leg up right now. Juice your skin up. Juice up your legs. T take your pants off. Juice up your leg. Matter of fact, you stand right there. Take off your pants. Take off your shirt. Juice your body up with that oil. Let's go. Juice yourself up. I literally, um, then you have to go and waste more time. I went and cleaned. I stood right there and cleaned it myself in front of them just to show them. And I said, I'm going to teach you guys how to properly clean. A vehicle. I'm gonna teach you properly how to clean something. Y'all getting paid to do this, and this is how you treat like you use a, a nasty, despicable, smelly rag on cleaning the inside of my vehicle, and my vehicle smells. So where was this rag stored? Nah, uh, uh. And then mind you, my children are sitting in the vehicle, and they're sitting on that. And they're rubbing their hands everywhere. They're putting their hands on their face. They want to eat stuff. Man, nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nah. And then, you know, the owner comes like, we're so sorry. You can come back for a free wash. Nah, boo-boo. I would never come back here. This will be the first and the last. I will never come back here. Yes, I will never come back here. 
That was horrible. That was horrible. Oh, oh, guys. So, let me let y'all uh, let y'all know something, right? So, did I tell y'all was telling you that I had ordered um a product from a company from someone that I knew that I went to high school with, right? And I ordered from them. So, I ordered, I ordered February 1st. Oh, no, I'm funny with that. I don't like, you know when, you know when, you know when adults are talking and you have children who like to butt into grown folks' conversation? Y'all better check y'all kids for doing that stuff, that kind of stuff. You, you, you check them and you get them in, you get them in order. Okay? Pass you what? Um, okay, you get them in order. You need to make sure that y'all understand children are supposed to stay in a children's place. You understand? When grown-ups are speaking, grown-ups are speaking. All right? Children are not supposed to interrupt when grown-ups are speaking. They're not supposed to get in a conversation when grown-ups are speaking. You understand? I don't like that kind of stuff. I don't like that. And so, if anybody making their face right now, I'm like, oh, look, why is she being so mean? No. He is a child, and he's supposed to stay in a child's place. You, a lot of these parents are too busy trying to be their children's friends and not putting a child in a child's place. You are a child, so stay in your child's place. You understand? We don't do that around these parts. Okay? Shoot. When you see grown-ups are talking, children quiet, or they walk away. Or they act like they don't even hear what's going on. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Because me, one thing I cannot take is a disrespectful child or a child who think they grown. You know, stuff like that will make me stop talking to people. You got your child being all grown and stuff, being up in a grown folk conversation and stuff like that. We ain't, a, we ain't. What is that I need you to do, Tutu? I need you to tell us why the light was off so I can put the labels on because the labels keep on. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll take care of that now. I'll take care of that now. This is, um, yeah, you just wipe these down for me. Put the tops on them. That's what you do. You put the tops on them, and I'm going to put the labels on them, right? Okay. So as I was saying, yeah, you put the tops on them, wipe them down, and I'll put the labels on them. Looks like I come on at a good time, lovely. Yes, she, hi, Jenny. A lot of only child, only child are like that, and they spend too much time around the dogs. It's true. It's true. It's, it's true. I don't like that. I don't like that. And, um, well, yeah, sis, we, we're trying to get this work done because I want to go out today. Today was my horoscope told me I need to go outside. So anybody, yes, I am into horoscope. I listen to my horoscope. When my horoscope tell me to do something, I do it. And it always works in my favor. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is to, to read my horoscope. First thing, before I, before I go to the restroom, before I do anything, as soon as I open up my eyes, I grab my phone <laughs> Okay, no, 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 all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's, let me tell y'all my morning routine, because I said maybe I might do a little morning routine. I get up, I open my eyes, I pray, I don't get out the bed, I'll pray first, okay? And then I ask God to guide my steps before my feet hit the ground, okay? Before I start my day. Once that's done, then, uh, I'll, about to, I'll, tell, I'll tell you when I come back. I don't know, it's astrology something, I don't I just know it pops up every morning and I see it. So um, I'll give you the name of the one that I use because I get it. It comes to my email every single day, every day. And I'm excited just to see what my horse is going to be for the next day. I promise you I am. Um, but I'll tell you once we come back again because I know if I leave here or maybe I get my computer. I know once I leave here, it's a wrap. You know, it, it'll boot me out and I have to start all over again. I don't want to start the scope all over again, right? So, um, it's a two. But, um, no, no, no. I'm a Virgo, sis. No, no, I'm not getting off. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, I'm a Virgo. Children should be children. Too much time spent making them grow. Maybe the, the, that, That's why. Why do you think you got those kids disrespecting their teachers in school? I wish, honey, I wish my child would be in school disrespecting the teacher and they think they're going to get away with it. Yeah. Honey, you didn't send your child to me, baby. Believe it. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Cancer. Yes, honey. Yeah, so, like I said, right? So, I, I watch my astrology. I, I read my astrology Leo. every... Leo. I My kids are too scared of me. <laughs> okay? Now, unless your child has, you know, something's going on like Julin and Gemini. 
you know, let me my Gemini's, honey. And I never liked Gemini's. Like, I didn't, I've never dealt with Gemini's like that. But when I was a kid, my Aries. best friend Fabiola, uh, Aries, my best friend Fabiola was a Gemini. We don't speak no more now, but that was my heart, man. That was my heart. And I love me some Gemini's. I love me some Gemini's. Mm -hmm. They're like me. When I was in school, if you was out of turn, you suffered. Too. Yes. Do you ever, who remembers? Yo, who remembers when teachers used to spank the kids? I remember the first grade, this little boy named Corey. He stole my money and he used to bother me all the time. He used to pull on my pigtails all the time, right? And he stole my dollar. My mommy gave me a dollar. He stole my dollar. He stole my dollar, man. Miss Davis. <laughs> Miss Davis pulled down Corey's pants. This was when we took our little naps because we couldn't go outside for whatever happened to, in the class that day. We couldn't go outside, right? Miss Davis turned on the light, pulled um, Corey to the front of the room, told him to come around that desk, honey. She pulled down Corey's pants and his underwear, pick up that ruler and spanked him, honey. Bet you Corey got his life, honey. Corey never misbehaved after that. I could tell you that. Corey got himself all the way in order. Bad notes from his teacher this month. My six-year-old son at... Sis, mine's too, sis. No, no, no. This is public school. No, this is public school. Guys, y'all know my daughter's six years old. She would have gotten, huh, she would have gotten, honey, K Corey? No, uh-uh. Let me tell you something. Those are the kind of teachers that we needed back in the days. Because of Miss Davis, teachers like Miss Davis, people like Corey are successful right now. You hear me? Because a lot of parents be like, oh, you can't do this. And you, man, listen, she was like grandma. All right. If you ain't acting right, teacher gonna make sure you get in. Like, in, if anybody who knows, if you Haitian in Haiti, the teacher will beat you. The principal will beat you. The system principal will beat you. And then your parents will get you. And that's why we never had children getting out of order. The reason why a lot of these kids are getting out of order is because there ain't no discipline around. People just letting their kids do whatever they want. That's why you think these kids are disrespecting teachers, coming at teachers at the side of their neck. Back in the days, this is how, that's how, this is how the old heads run. Oh, really? Okay. You wouldn't even dare to think to try your teacher in school. You wouldn't dare. I wish you would. It's, I'm telling you, that, that, that's, how, that's what it was about, man. And I'm telling you, if it wasn't for my teachers getting in my behind, I probably wouldn't be the way I am right now. I was too afraid to act up in class. I was too afraid to talk back. I was too afraid to cut my eyes in class. I'm telling you, I was too afraid to do any of those. Because I said, Lord have mercy, my teacher going to get me. My mama going to get me. And the thing about it is, those teachers back in the days did it out of love. Paper home asking for permission to whip the the principal sent a paper home asking for permission to whip students. Oh, they did enter. Are you asking? In Haiti, that's how it works, honey. Anybody who knows, and no, -uh, because it's like a it's a community, and it's it's funny. Like it's like everyone lives in each other. And it's like we're family. It takes a village because if you acting out, if you acting out in school, and your 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 parents are at work working hard. Yeah, see, hmm. you hear me like your parents are working hard to, 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 to make sure you get a good education and what you're doing is basically you're disrespecting your family name by you acting up in school and acting out in public. You're disrespecting your family. Believe you me. Oh, believe you me. Oh, you're going to get taught baby cakes or oh, you're going to get taught. I bet you won't act up. I bet you won't act up in public. Let your neighbor see you acting up in public. Let, let your neighbor see you acting up in public. Let you not be home when the time that you're supposed to be home. Your neighbor will, will honey, will tat 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 behind, honey. Believe you me. And then call your parents, honey. Then we'll call your parents to let your parents know what's going. Let your parents know what's happening. Catch you. Catch you. Why you think you're slipping. Catch you. Why you slipping. On sight. What device am I using? I'm on my phone. Um, your parents will tat 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 tat. Your neighbor will tat 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 tat. Catch you real quick. You hear me? And I can guarantee you, you would think twice before acting out in public. You would think twice trying to play hooky from school because everybody's around and everybody knows everybody. So you're not going to do these things. How often?
often you think kids were cutting school back then? Wasn't doing that. How often you think kids were talking back to the teacher? You wasn't doing that. How often did you hear about children coming up in school think of or people coming to school to fight? That wasn't happening. But because the way the system, the system is set up for your children to fail. The system is set up for your children to fail. That's why they tell you now, oh, you better not beat your kids in public. Oh, you better not hit your child in public. Because if you hit your child in public, your child, one, can call the cops on you. Your child, two, can call the cops on you and you get arrested. Or your child gets taken away from you. Okay? We have the parents now that let their children get away with it. Oh, it's cute what he's doing. He's acting ratchet. It's cute. You wondering why the school, our school system is where it's at now. They're firing principals, teachers left and right, replacing them left and right because the children are not even passing. You know why? Because they know damn discipline. That's why. Honey, that's why. Because there's no discipline. Children try too busy talking about, you touch me, I'm going to tell my mama. I'm a, uh, you have a child who's going to hit a teacher. I watch on Facebook when I see these videos of these young kids Elderly teachers in class afraid to even get up out of their seat because the children are coming, slamming the chalkboard, scratching on the chalkboard. They're, 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 they're kissing in class. They're disturbing the class. You hear me? And the teachers are so afraid to even get up because the children are blocking them. I wish a child would, boy. I wish. I wish. I wish a child would. I wish a child would. That's why I know I couldn't be a teacher. I know I couldn't be. There's no way. There's no way. I never forget that day. I was watching a video. I watched a video of this young lady picked up a text. We're talking about a thick encyclopedia book. Picked it up and threw it at the teacher. What do you think that teacher did? Honey, she young like us, honey. That teacher was young. That teacher flew across that hallway and DDT'd her behind. You hear me? I would have done too. And everybody's talking about how, oh, the teacher was wrong. The teacher was this. She's sitting there asking, you want to fight the teacher? I wish. I wish. I wish, you know what, I wish. And then they're sitting there bad mouth. The teacher's trying to teach your child and you're disrespectful, you're disrespectful child acting like an adult and having other students hold them back. As the students hold her back, she takes the textbook and throws it at the teacher. I would have flew across that table, honey. I would have flew so far. They would have taken my license, they would have taken my job and I would have been just fine with that. Teachers don't even get paid enough for what they have to endure trying to teach some of these parents disrespectful children. And then the parents come into the school talking about, oh, um, my children, my child told me that you said this and that to them. Or my child told, you better check that at the door. You better get your kids in order. You better get your kids in order. And you wonder why their IQ is so low. You wonder why they're sitting on a fifth grade, um, they're on a fifth grade level. Come on now, man. Ain't nobody want to talk about that. Ain't nobody want to talk about that. Oh my God. Oh my God. This was so dis this was so wrong. I sent my child to go to school to get an education. And then the teacher feels that they can talk to my child any kind of way. And all this other stuff. What happens when the, ch when the, when the teachers give up? They come to school just to come to work now. All because the children don't want to learn. They want to come and play. The children want to come to school and play. They disrespectful. They don't even care about education. Well, I know, at least I know I'm here because I'm coming to school to hang out. Most of these kids are coming to school to hang out with their friends, and that's it. They don't care about their education. And you know what? Then they get out and they tell you that you have these young females who, who can't even get their minds in order. You know, you know what their only goal is to do? Is to be Instagram famous, to take pictures, to be Instagram models, or to or to be able to become strippers. That's this is what this is what we're promoting. This this is what's happening. Do you not see it? Do you not see it? Come on. Am I lying? Am I lying? Hit a number one if y'all agree with what I'm saying. Hit a number two if you disagree with what I'm saying. Okay? And it's okay if you disagree. That's fine. If you disagree, it's because you don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear the truth. That's that's the reason why you, you, you don't disagree. And it's wrong. People want, these kids are acting out last year because, yes, because they want to be reality TV stars, honey. I'm going to get, I'm going to get my own reality TV. So I'm going to act up and I'm going to act all wild and stuff like that just so I can get me, that's the new way of life now. I'm going to be rich off of reality TV. Do y'all not realize majority of these reality TV stars that y'all see don't even own the houses that you see them in? It's, 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 it's a show. 
It's a show. They get paid for appearances, but they got to keep...